Okay, now we're done that. You can use a ruler and trace it up to the circle that we made up to. Not in the middle, because it will ruin the whole thing. You want to cut up to the middle right here. And after you cut from here to the middle, you want to cut the, the line that we have made right here. See a straight line? You want to cut it from here to down here. Don't cut to the middle. A lot of people make that mistake and mess the whole thing up. So that's just a warning to you guys. Now I'm going to do this side so you guys can see. It's really hard and tough to do this part. So you want to hold it right there. And point right there. And you want to trace all the way down to it. It's really small. You can't actually see it. But I'm going to cut it for you guys. Only this time and then I'll speed up the whole other clip. Now, how skinny this will be? It'll be this skinny, right here. Yep. And you will tape all the other sides later on, and it will make it the slope a deep. So don't worry, it's not that skinny. And you just want to keep on going for the other ones. Okay, now that we have finished this, obviously there should be open spots when you connect it together from here and here. There should be open spots. So, yeah, it should, looks like, it should look like a dandelion sort of shape. And now, you see the marks that you have made right here? All in the sides. What do you want to do? You want to measure a half half a centimeter and you want to cut from the half a centimeter to down to that mark right there you want to do it the side since you marked it over here so yeah we're going to be doing that there's a lot of cutting in here though too so yep gonna speed that up too Now you want to cut it up to that little dot. Okay, now we're done that. You can tape this part together right here, and then you're gonna do it in the back too to make it stronger so it won't break. Okay, now you have gotten this to tape. You want to tape, you see where the dot is right here? You only want to tape to the dot to the circle. And we're going to tape the top part later. We just have to tape this part right here. 
and I'm gonna speed this up. Okay, now that we have finished taping the insides, now we can tape the outsides, but I'm gonna do the back part, so I'm gonna skip that part. Okay, now that I have finished the insides, now you can tape the outsides. And yes, I will skip this, because it's very long. Okay, now that we have finally finished this, you could bend the parts where it's uneven. And you can check if it's uneven or even by putting on a table. This table is pretty curved, so that's why it makes it uneven. But you can just fold it out if you want to. So, there we go. Now that we have the bowl, we can make the walls. The walls are not that simple to do, but I'd say it's easy for me. What you want to do, you want to bend it like this. You want to take the two sides of the straps and push it inwards. It should make this oval shape, like this one right here. See how it makes this oval shape? You can do that and tape it to the sides. And you can do that to all three sides. And you'll be done. It's not that easy, but it is easy if you take your time to do it. And what you want to do, if you're using cardboard strap, then this will be good. On the end of here, you want to fold it back. And then you want to fold it forward, make a zigzag like this. And you should leave a little tiny opening. And you want to do the same thing to the other side. So it should look like this. You fold here, fold down, and make a little opening. And this is just to measure, it's a good measurement of where and how big you should tape it. So yeah. You should get a Beyblade and put it right in the stadium out and see how far it is, where it will go. And then you'll tape it. So yeah, I'll be back when I'm finishing finish taping this whole thing like this. And yeah, see you later. Hey guys, I'm finally back and now I have finished the stadium. It's not actually that bad. This is better than my first one, I guess. So yeah, here's your stadium out. It should look like this. Keep on trying if you mess up because, you know, you can untape it and do it again. Here's my other one. They're almost identical. And when I try to put it on top of each other, they do not fit. Obviously, it's because I made it the same size, same shape. So, yeah. This is the stadium. Have fun. Thanks for watching, guys.